I'm not as heavy as a skeeter. All right, Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion is a wrap. It's been incredible. Thanks to all of you that came and saw us. We'd also like to let you know that we're still accepting entries to win the Apex Winch. We're accepting those entries till the third. We have reached our 50,000 entries, and for every 10,000 we go over that, we are going to be giving away a mat recovery rope kit. Make sure to share it, and thanks so much for participating. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Good morning. It is another day of working in the shop on the heavy wrecker. We've got Lizzie and Trevor out grabbing parts right now. Tom Tom's about to head in and do some uh, drawing to get some stuff made by Flog. Yep. Me and Skeeter are going to start getting this cab pulled because that is the next step, and we're just going to get after it. Now, I would like to note that the wrecker is in the shop under its own power. So we pushed it out to uh, get some photos for the video you guys just watched a couple Sundays ago. Then Ed had a bright idea. So the reason that we're pulling the cab is so that we can have access to the roll bar so we can finish welding it. We've got to pull the motor and the transmission. We've got to get the transmission shipped off to Monster Transmissions. We've got to get the motor mounts welded up. A bunch of stuff, you'll see. We've also got some stuff to do on the cab. Um, air tanks, all that stuff. Okay. I think this whole thing needs to roll backwards that much or... That. Quit making noises. Sorry, this is door. Cap must be heavy because it's kind of bending those bars. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of a, a little bit of a bow to them. Yeah. I can't believe how good that worked. And it's high enough to to do everything we need to do. So I think the first thing we should do is work on the cab. And then we need to get it out of here and push this back in. Okay, Skeeter, do you think we're tough enough to move, move this? It's welding time. All right, back there. Yeah, keep on coming, keep on coming. That's it. Look at this, look at that. Look at this. These need to be welded in. These need to be welded in. We need to put a nut on this one, a locking nut, which means we have to keep critical attention to how far this is out. This needs to be welded. We need some other strengtheners on this to keep it from rotating. We need to take these out. We've got a significant amount of firewall to put back in. A nice fan from California brought us some hats because it's almost hunting season. There are some fans that sent you some safety gear. Again? Yeah. Let's see. It's a safety device that somebody sent you. Don't read it yet. <laughs> fall risk. I'm a fall risk. All right, so I need these welded. So these are gonna be like half inch on, one inch off, all the way, and then when you get to here, I'd just do like one, one. I had to put double the amount of tacks that are on them before I started welding. Let's actually have you weld this on first because this is kind of precarious. <laughs> All right, okay. Lizzie, so you're gonna wanna go like probably three dots across there, three across there, three across there, three across there, and then come and hit this as best you can all the way across the bottom there. Weld it. Good morning.
When we had the banana torn apart, the clock spring in the steering wheel was inexplicably broken. I know how it happened, but I ain't gonna point any fingers, Matt. Instead of buying a $90 clock spring, we're just gonna put a button in the dash that will bridge these two wires. It's the total opposite of the more rare. It's all meep, and the more rare is like, Rawr. They make quite a pair. <laughs> so if you get side by side and hit the horns, then it sounds right. What else you gotta do? I've got a multitude of things to do. Like what? You may have noticed the bouncy RPM needle. I gotta make washer fluid pump. So our bright idea of putting the washer bottle in the back was foiled when we put the seat belts back in so it doesn't slide up there at all anymore. So this is the sock washer bottle. You notice it's like the same profile as that. But then we put the seat belt in and it's got that stinking bracket. What if you just swing it back? Oh, does that work? That's so close. I think you gotta stick that stuff. Oh. oh! It's gonna be hard to hook the wires and stuff up, but we can probably make it work. Good job, Tucker. So I'm gonna be out here working on this, out in the hot sun, while the rest of them are in the nice, cooled shop. But don't cry for me, Argentina. You know that I've always loved you. Is that how the songs go? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see, that looks pretty good. Sweet. You got those welded, those look good. Looks good. All right, Skeeter Lizzie, the next thing is to get this out of here. We'll use the off-road trailer to do that. And then we can get this in here to where we can start working on it. Back it up. Okay. So we can, can we tip that? We can probably lift up on the tongue and it'll drop it down, right? A little bit. Okay. Peanut yeah. thinks this one down too. Come here, Peanut. That's too hot for you. Okay. So while Lizzie was welding that cab up and getting all that stuff done, Tom Tom and I were messing with the exhaust. We're getting ready to put exhaust version 1.0 in here, which is two and a half inch. Later, when we get the bigger motor, um, we're gonna be putting three inch exhaust on. So first step is we need all these cleaned out and the welds going. So see how that's welded yep, with these yep. are? Oh, wow. All these, you want to clean out with wire wheel or something? Or yeah, or air, air, no, air nozzle, whatever. Whatever, yeah. Okay, yeah. not picky. So the next thing we're going to do is get these air tank mounts tacked in here. Hey, that worked. Okay, you can't weld any on the inside. So a few of you have still noticed that we aren't finished with this. So we're gonna get right on this. We're gonna keep working on this. If you don't see it, it's because we haven't made it yet. If you still don't see it after we've made it, then that means we did it wrong. All right. Ta-da. All right, so we got these tanks mounted. There's still a lot of work left to do to them, plumbing them up and plugging the holes and putting air fittings on them. But they are mounted and I think they're in the right spot. All right, so we're gonna get this motor pulled. We're gonna get the transmission disconnected, get it draining so we can ship it off in the morning. There's just little things we're just gonna keep working on on this as I remember them <laughs> or think of them or imagine them. Any update? That's an interesting idea. You could probably build a project yeah, that, by just starting the project and then reading the comments and doing whatever they tell you to do next. You don't that would be a know. crazy theory. Like that would be a crazy 
experiment. Yeah. I'm just going to do what people tell me to do and see what it turns into. Oh, what a crazy oh, somebody, experiment. Wow, oh, somebody really... All right, so TomTom Tom just came up with something really interesting. We should start a project, and we'll start it. Now, so th if there's one thing I know, when you're trying to come up with ideas for something, everybody's quiet till you draw the first line on a piece of paper. Then everybody chimes in and has suggestions about which direction to draw the line and how wide and how far. So I would, I'm thinking it would be interesting to do this where we start a project. Let's just start something, drag it into the shop, whatever it is, and then wait for the comments and then do exactly what the comments say. We're gonna see if you guys, if the commenters are really better at building something than the builders that build it on YouTube, just in general. That'd be a crazy experiment. It would. See what It'd it turns so into. Fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook this for a little bit up here in my noodle, and uh, you guys comment about it. <laughs> Maybe we'll follow your comments. <laughs> I'm intrigued. I'm honestly intrigued. If they can make something that'll cross the dunes, give them a goal. Mm -hmm. This needs to go in the sand dunes. It's gonna have a Cummins in it, guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready to pop this out of there? Well, kind of, we, yeah. So this motor might balance itself. Boy, this is not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. And it's hot outside. Do you consider that? We're gonna pick it up with this arm and set it right hold here. It. Will one arm hold it fine? Easily. So we need some kind of a thing to keep that in there. Okay. Gently go up, but not as much as you think. Go. Okay. We got one side out. It's gonna be really front heavy. That's why Skeeter's standing on it real tall. He might put both feet on it. Both feet, yep. Okay, go uh, up. Whoa. Probably pushing the limit. Okay, go up. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get your center of mass over that thing. Okay, this is gonna, this is close, but we're gonna make it. Okay, I need everybody 100% on board. If anybody's timid, just leave because we don't need that kind of negativity. <laughs> Think heavy thoughts, Skeeter. Yeah, for see, sure. how, see how it's coming over. Oh, hold on, I got my, like, don't fall too far because I'll lose myself. Nope. All right. Okay. So now, Skeeter, don't lose yourself. What? Don't do that, Skeeter. I gotta pull it over. Okay, yeah, come it's on over. over. Got him. Coming down. Hey, okay, come on down. You got it? Whoa. I yeah. survived. Okay. Are you gonna just put the engine right back in? Yeah, okay. yeah, we're gonna weld these up and then we'll set drop the this back in today. In a second. I need the okay, so just the back seat. Okay, there she is. That's going to monster transmission. I think I got it figured out. Key on. Engage. <laughs> Wait, we got a whole show. Very nice. It's like a Vegas show. All right, good, yeah. good job. And now we put it all back together. You know what Rhett and Lizzie are wondering right now? How I'm doing this without burning the little finger off, the pointer finger off of these welding gloves. I haven't had a problem with that in a long time. I've gotten a lot better. <laughs> That'll get there. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to like it or hate it, but they're going to remember it. <laughs> so trying to cut through those straps with the razor knife is going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be good. Okay, do we need any tape on it after this? I don't know. No. All right. 
We got this packaged up. It's heading to Monster tomorrow morning. So now that we've got all that done, we're gonna be putting the engine back in. Tom Tom's just gotta finish up these, this half of the motor mounts. And we're gonna set the motor in and we're gonna proceed to that step. I'll, I'll put it in one of these top holes and show you. All right. So, that one's hot. transmission out and it's on its way to monster to get rebuilt like super nice we got the engine back in here that was a battle we did it wrong the whole time that was pretty much my fault it was more fun. but we okay. did it all of our fingers all of us have all of our fingers speak for yourself <laughs> all right a little while back Tucker made a deal with all of you. I know it sounded like me, but it was Tucker that made the deal. 50,000 likes on this video. We're camping out here. The four of us, right here. Overnight. Overnight. No tricks. No tricks. No going to the Hilton in the middle of the night. All night. And we are, true to our word, it is nine o'clock. We're headed to Walmart to buy our pajamas, and we're going out there. We're going camping. Skeeter's super excited. He's the hillbilly of our group. Everyone else is dreading it. <laughs> Trevor's in the was in on it, and so was Tucker. They were I wasn't in on anything all, all night. All of us were in on the deal, but we've got a situation here. I have no idea how I got roped into this. <laughs> I wasn't anywhere near this recovery or this agreement. Because you're the cook, man. Breakfast better be good. Right. You're gonna hear me whisper and mix dog. mix. And dog. Our wives are nowhere near us, so we've got to kind of take care of ourselves for like 12 hours. It's going to be rough. So is that what we're thinking? Just like bacon and eggs? Yeah. Do we have like forks and knives and we got to go get paper plates? No, Tom. I'm or still we trying to imagine how the food gets from the pan to our mouths. With our hands. You looking at it, buddy? Just clawing it up. Poor Mel. How many of these do you need? Can we mix it up? Yeah, what do you want? Brown Thick sugar? Thick cut? Apple? Not seeing a lot get of fork. Get a spork. They're good at everything. How much pepper do you want to get? Just some. They're not efficient, but their form is flawless. No overnight camping. No discharging of firearms. Hmm. I guess since we have to be an example, we're gonna have to find somewhere else to camp. I hate to break this trust with you guys, but I'm not going to jail for you. I think we can still hold up our end of the deal by going camping somewhere. So let's go camp somewhere. Can we camp on this side of the sign? <laughs> All right, so we decided that a good place to go camping is a secret location on Lizzie's family's property on a mesa, not too far from Hurricane. We're holding up our end of the bargain here. We are going camping. It's like, what is it, 10.30 p.m.? We're going to be setting up camp, but first we want to show you something super cool. I don't know what the best way up here is. Whoa, that mock. There goes Trevor. <laughs> we would play ball tag up here like... This is leg breaking oh, yeah. stuff. Up here. Where is it at? Check this out, guys. Whoa. What the heck? <laughs> what in the heck? Oh. What the heck? Awesome. He's not kidding. He just swallowed that. How cool is this? <laughs> that is way cool. <laughs> Come on, 
Come on in. There's tons of room. He's not even kidding. <laughs> this would be some refuge in a in like a thunderstorm. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Like a mini song. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he could really. He think outlaws staying in here or something. That's okay. crazy. Can we get out yet? I'm <laughs> sweating. It is warm in here. <laughs> it's awkward to get in and get out of. Man, that is awkward. <laughs> it's like a baby giraffe. <laughs> Born. <laughs> here I am. Geothermal activity. Erosion, guys. I told you it's the biggest problem <laughs> facing Diamond America. Wow, look at that. So this is like just a little shelter. It's not a tent. This is mine. Have they loaned it to me? All right. And then over here we have Trevor's little cot. Little cot. And then Skeeter, how's your deal going? I got anchors in. So oh, just gotta. How deep is that? I don't know, like two inches. Okay. Or like inch and a half, not very far. So Skeeter's up here trying to set up a hammock. Okay, one there, one here. Alright, this is where I'm staying, right here. Nice. It's 80 degrees out here, so it's not like we need a lot of blankets or anything. All of us are a little bit concerned that it might rain tonight, but Tucker's the only one that's actually taken any sort of precautionary measures. Got a raft. <laughs> oh yeah, we're in a floodway too, so. <laughs> it's a double person hammock and I got a bug shield too. I think it's pretty strong. Well, I think we're gonna turn in. We'll see you in the morning. How was it? It was all right. First time outside of sleeping on a trampoline out in my backyard that I've slept out in the open. Well, we don't have any way to start a fire. Well, we don't have a traditional way of starting a fire. Let's put it that way. Yeah, we've got gunpowder. We've got batteries. If only our wives were here. They would know what to do. <laughs> Out of the filter, or the easiest, just, you just twist it. So this is gonna hurt me and worse than it hurts you. Yeah, but the bacon's gonna taste so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah hot, really some hot. diesel. All right, I climbed under there, took the lid off, and poured water right <laughs> up my nose. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. <laughs> Did you find a conductor? Okay, now we need a wick. We need to get that over here and on so I can throw throw the flaming Molotov cocktail onto the, the lighter. I got diesel all over my hands. That's gonna be <laughs> awesome. There it is. Oh, that was almost on fire, man. Come on, diesel. Okay, got, got fire. Got fire. Woo All right, so it's been brought to my attention that they bought maple bacon and brown sugar bacon. Now, Skeeter is claiming responsibility for the brown sugar bacon. I, I grab one of each. One of each for each person. Oh, I want, that was technically mine. Tom Tom kind of took responsibility for the maple bacon. Yeah. Poor Mel. How many of these do you need? Here's the problem. I am deathly allergic to terrible bacon. <laughs> Trevor picked out applewood bacon. Can we mix it up? Yeah, what do you want? Brown, Brown sugar? sugar? Thick cut? Apple? But we yeah. kind of threw all the bacon together. Yeah. Tucker, I, I, I think you're happy about how things are going. I'm He just likes bacon. Tom Tom's happy with how things are going. Skeeter's happy with how it's going. Trevor is mildly off put, but not enough to really stop this. I am now fasting. So there's still eggs. I, yeah, but they're gonna be they're gonna be cooked in maple bacon. I can't do it. I can't do orange chicken. I can't do honey ham. Anytime you add sugar to a meat, I am out. I'm gonna go hunting for a buck. Some sort of deer. A lizard. I'll have raw. I'll have raw lizard for breakfast. Here's a weapon. <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna sit in my chair with a sour look on my face the rest of the morning.
<laughs> Matt was all willing to cook the bacon until he found out what he found out. But you ask for it, you got it. One camping trip done. We are packing up, heading out. We've got a lot to do today. I just found out we've got our truck in the river. That'll be another video. We're gonna go get it out. We all learned some valuable One lessons million. from this trip. And thanks for watching. Roses are red and violets are purple. Sugar is sweet and so is maple circle.